Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Los Angeles is burning. From Malibu's iconic coastlines to the serene hills of Calabasas, wildfires are consuming everything in their path. Entire neighborhoods lie in ruins, families are being evacuated, and some of the most luxurious homes in America are turning to ash. But amidst the chaos, one question is starting to emerge. What's really behind these fires? Could it be an act of nature? Or could something far more calculated and far more modern be at play? This isn't just speculation. In New Jersey, drones have been spotted hovering over critical infrastructure, sparking fears about their potential misuse. And in California, technology like the Ignis drone, designed to help manage wildfires, raises unsettling possibilities about what could happen if such tools fell into the wrong hands. Could a drone be responsible for the destruction consuming Los Angeles? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you might see the skies in a whole new light. California is no stranger to wildfires, but this year feels different. In just a few weeks, over 300,000 acres have burned, displacing thousands of families and leaving billions of dollars in damages. Neighborhoods in Woodland Hills, Calabasas, and Malibu, known for their multi-million dollar homes, are now barely recognizable. Celebrities have taken to social media to share their firsthand experiences. Bella Hadid posted footage of flames dangerously close to her family's property, while Paris Hilton shared tearful updates about evacuations in her neighborhood. The devastation is undeniable but the cause remains unclear. What's unusual about these fires is where and how they're starting. Many have ignited in remote, hard to access locations. These aren't areas where you'd expect a cigarette or campfire to cause a blaze. Even more concerning, some fires have erupted nearly simultaneously in locations miles apart. This pattern has long been associated with arson. The eerie part? These patterns echo what we saw in the Maui fire earlier this year. A fire so deadly that it wiped out entire towns and claimed hundreds of lives. Witnesses in Maui reported seeing flashes of light in the sky and hearing explosions just before the fires erupted. Now, similar whispers are surfacing in LA. Just days ago, residents in New Jersey reported sightings of drones hovering near critical infrastructure, including power plants and water treatment facilities. These weren't the kind of drones you'd find in a hobbyist's backyard. Witnesses described them as large, sophisticated machines capable of coordinated movements and prolonged flights. The sightings have prompted investigations by local authorities and federal agencies, but so far, no one knows who operated these drones or why. Could they have been gathering data, testing responses, or were they part of something bigger? Now consider this. If drones are being used to surveil or disrupt critical infrastructure on the East Coast, what's stopping someone from using Similar technology to ignite fires on the West Coast? In 2024 alone, there were over 1,200 reported incidents of unauthorized drone activity near sensitive locations in the United States. That's a 68% increase from the previous year, and experts warn that this number is likely underreported. Drones are one of the most versatile tools of our time. They're revolutionizing industries like filmmaking, agriculture, and even emergency response. But they're also becoming a growing threat. Here are some real world examples of drones being used for malicious purposes. Airport shutdowns. London's Gatwick Airport was shut down for over 36 hours in 2018 due to unauthorized drone activity, disrupting flights for 140,000 passengers. The culprits were never found. Weaponized drones. In conflict zones, drones have been modified to carry explosives, transforming them into low-cost, high-impact weapons. 
prison smuggling. Drones have delivered contraband, including drugs, weapons, and cell phones, into high security prisons, bypassing traditional security measures. Corporate espionage. Companies have caught drones spying on their facilities, gathering trade secrets and sensitive information. Political protests. In 2022, drones were used to disrupt rallies by dropping leaflets and liquids onto crowds, raising concerns about how easily they could escalate into something more dangerous. The adaptability of drones makes them both a powerful tool and a dangerous weapon. And as technology continues to advance, the potential for misuse only grows. The IDNIS, developed by Drone Amplified, is one of the most advanced tools in wildfire management. Here's how it works. The drone carries chemical-filled spheres that ignite upon impact. These spheres are dropped in precise patterns, allowing firefighters to clear vegetation and create fire breaks. The system is safer, faster, and more cost-effective than traditional methods. In the right hands, the IGNIS is a game changer, but in the wrong hands, it could become a weapon of mass destruction. Imagine someone using an IGNIS drone, or a modified version of it, to start fires in remote, inaccessible areas. Drones with similar capabilities are becoming increasingly affordable and accessible. Rogue operators, hackers, or even opportunists could misuse this technology for nefarious purposes. If tools like Ignis exist, how do we ensure they're used responsibly? Wildfires often seem like random acts of nature, but they can serve very specific agendas. Real estate developers, burned land becomes a blank slate, making it easier to push through lucrative redevelopment projects. Insurance fraud. Fires create opportunities for property owners to collect large insurance payouts, especially in areas where property values are declining. Environmental extremists. History has shown that individuals or groups sometimes start fires to draw attention to climate change or environmental causes. Urban planners in 20-minute cities, the push for 20-minute cities, self-contained urban hubs where everything is within walking distance, requires massive redevelopment. Could wildfires be clearing the way for these futuristic projects? While these theories might sound extreme, the stakes are too high to dismiss them outright. The Maui fire earlier this year left the nation in shock. Entire towns were wiped out, hundreds of lives were lost, and many more were displaced. Witnesses described seeing strange lights in the sky and hearing explosions before the fires erupted. Now in LA, similar stories are emerging. Drones have been spotted near fire zones and the rapid spread of flames feels eerily familiar. Could drones have been involved in both disasters? The rise of drone technology has outpaced regulation. The Federal Aviation Administration has rules in place, but enforcement is a significant challenge. Here's why. Accessibility, drones are now cheap and widely available. Anonymity, it's difficult to trace a drone's operator, especially in remote areas. Technology gaps, counter drone systems exist, but are expensive and not widely deployed. Without stronger oversight, the potential for drone misuse will only grow. Here's what we know. Fires are starting in remote, hard to reach areas. Drones have been spotted near sensitive locations in both New Jersey and California. The misuse of drones is a growing concern globally. Here's what we don't know, whether drones are directly responsible for these fires. But the patterns are suspicious and the potential for misuse is undeniable. As drone pilots and citizens, it's our responsibility to advocate for ethical use and push for better regulations. The skies should be a place of innovation, not destruction. So, could drones be behind the wildfires tearing through LA? The evidence is circumstantial, but the possibility is too serious to ignore. What do you think? 
Are these incidents just coincidences? Or are we witnessing the rise of a new kind of threat? Share your thoughts in the comments, hit the like button, and subscribe for more investigations into the intersection of technology and society. Until next time, fly smart, stay safe, and keep questioning everything.